like one of the black belts. A man, a man with a million dollars and a hundred million dollars. Awesome. Thank you so much. People who can hear me make some noise. University, I well, before we start off, ma'am, I've got uh, something to say. First of all, you guys have uh, three exercises to do today. Let me see your right hands up in the air, all of you. Let me see your right hands. Now, let me see your left hands. Put the hands up in the air. Now, move them. Move them and make some noise. Super. And now, now exercise. let me do the exercise. <laughs> years, ladies and gentlemen, which is how old I am. So we're going to have a big hand for that and if you can't, lift your right. This is my left, but this is when the left becomes right and right is left, right? So take your right hand up, everybody, and then your left hand, come on, and now put it together. It's just fantastic to be over here, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you so much for having me over here, really. It's been fun. amazing. And the sun is just so glorious here. <laughs> and all the people who were walking away when I was coming in here, I told them, don't you dare go come back. So I do hope all of them have come back. <laughs> okay, do I have to sit on this? I look like someone. In any case, I, I'm so slim. Well, well, are, are you allowed to remove your mask? No, why do you want me to do that? Because we all want to see a beautiful place. <laughs> okay, two things. How's the sari looking? How's the bindi looking? How's the jhumkas? How's the face? volume and can I have the monitors this way? Hi darling everybody. Yeah, I didn't wear the flowers because I thought, you know, bringing them all the way from Calcutta and then to Bombay, it might just get a little sad. But if you want some flowers, I'll get them for you. So ladies and gentlemen, the book is out. The Queen of Indian Pop. Well, let me start by saying the aim of art is not to represent the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. Pop started long ago, and pop stars uh, used to dress up in jeans, t-shirts, funky jackets, boots. In comes a pop artist who dropped all the jaws, wearing beautiful conjurums, big bindi, jukas, and made everybody dance. Well, people dance to want to cha cha cha, say hurry on hurry. Who is everyone's darling? Please welcome Usha. Thank you so much. It's absolutely brilliant. Do you know something? My son is going through dialysis, and this is no hard luck story I'm giving you because there are many people who would love to say, Oh, I've had such a big struggle in my life. You know, we just have to uh, move on with life and carry on with life. But I have a son at home. Uh, and he's got his fantastic spirit, yeah. And if he had seen all the girls here tonight, he would have said, Amma, why did you go and not me? Uh, actually, when he had his kidney transplant, ever since then, I've been wearing a mask. It's not only for COVID. And I believe me, it really has helped me. And I just wanted to be safe. That's all. Nothing but also, I do, uh, people when they say, you know, we want to see your face, I say it as a joke. I'm not Reka, so why would you want to see me? No, so you're more beautiful. Well, yeah, actually, I was going to say that. But I was going to say that, Wo bhi madrasi hai, main bhi madrasi hoon. Wo bhi, if I say this now, I hope nobody's writing it because they, would, they might think I'm racist. You know? But I'm not. So, I would say, Bobi Madrasi hai, mein bhi Madrasi. Bobi Kali hai, mein bhi unse zyada Kali. Woh khubsura, lekin mein to unse zyada khubsura. And I became khubsura only because of all of you! That's really true. Which is why I gave her the 
chance in that film, you know, it was actually written for me. <laughs> Because that birth was very dramatic. First chapter of a book, how Usha Uttam came, came to this world, which was so wonderful. So, your mother crossed the road, she delivered you, next day she picked you, crossed the road and went back. Correct. So sad. Hmm? It was so cool. So cool. So, no so, natak, no natak for me, so sad. She just crossed the door, delivered the baby, came back. And there is Usha Uttam. Yes, actually it was like that. And uh, I think some of the nice things in my life is the fact that I always decided, uh, or ra rather, I always felt it was better to be 100% honest, which is my first piece of advice to all the youngsters today who want to get into the business of being on stage and performing. Oh, lovely clouds, huh? And I always feel that if you're 100% honest, and what you see is what you get, right? So it really doesn't matter. And uh, the way I came into the world also was without Natak. Yeah, no uh, big thing of my mother having to go through a lot of uh, problems or who would take her to the hospital. She just walked across the road, had me and came back. Uh, you know, there's another thing which uh, maybe I should say to all the ladies over here and also to the gentlemen. That you might have noticed why I wear my sari like this. Yeah, I'm holding my pallu. Now let me tell you, I, if you know the story, then it's okay. If you don't know it also, it's okay. Uh, almost all the photographers have a knack of coming on the left-hand side. And somehow or the other, they get a little bit of your stomach. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, no, you're okay, darling. You love your stomach, though. Yeah. But then, uh, the first time I got to know that was a reality check. In Madras, when I was singing at the Music Academy, uh, in the beginning of my career, next morning I saw the papers, and it was so lovely, headlines. <laughs> it was Usha Uttu Nataka. Hot Chapati, she's good, okay? And I saw my photograph. I said, whose stomach is that? I was so shocked. And then I realized, well, it's Usha Uttub's stomach. So now I stand like that. So all the photographers, come up over there on the left. And do that. And you can take the photograph. See, all these little, little things, nobody's going to tell you anything. Unless you have a body like Shilpa Shetty, which I do. And then, you know, you don't want to. Uh, everybody thinks that a nightclub singer would be in a black number with cleavage and everything showing, which I don't have any. Anyway, so, <laughs> and I, I wear a lot of black numbers, but it's always been covered up like this. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's absolutely fantastic that all of you have learned the tricks of the trade now, and you'll find in all the cereals, all the pretty girls who come up and say, 
Now you know where they learned it from, right? And when you go to the airport and you see lovely ladies wearing Kanji Vellam saris early in the morning and you see them wearing sneakers, you know where it started. I feel so thrilled. Of course, I have no copyright on these things, but it's nice for all of you to remember. And I'm sure it will go, go down in the history book somewhere or the other. Not a little bit of Tana, but it will be there. And we all know that you started off uh, as a club singer. We used to go to the nightclubs and sing. But Dev Sahab and Adi Balun Sahab, when you pay, I pay, after they pay, they also pay, and after they pay, 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 they yeah, oh, so what happened when, when, when they came there? We, we know they came there. But what happened after that? When they came, they saw you. You know, it was so amazing, actually. Uh, being a playback singer was never in my mind, okay? I didn't start as a playback singer. I started singing in a nightclub. I'm very proud to say that I'm a nightclub singer, even today. And I'm very, very proud to say that, yeah, I, even if, I'm a, if it's a drop in the ocean, it's definitely a definitive contribution to wiping off the stigma which used to be attached to singing in a nightclub. The Lord used to, you know, they used to come and listen to me sing and then they, uh, they heard about it. In those days there was no electronic media, there was no FM, there was no Tuvin and you know, so people just read the news or it was, you know, by word of mouth that people heard. So there were people who were talking and saying there's this Madrasi girl who sings in nightclubs and you know she wears a sari and things like that. And none of this was really planned or strategy or positioning or anything. I just come from a very middle class family. My amma wore it, my sisters wore it. So I, I think the story, the story was also like which I heard, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the club owner, he heard you sing, he came. With a Kanjiwaram, he gave to you the Kanjiwaram and he requested, can you sing for us? Yes, absolutely. He gave me uh, as a payment, uh, which is probably a little bit more than what you're paying me today. <laughs> okay. So they gave me a Kanjiwaram sari at the, end of, uh, at the end of the week that I sang in Madras at Nine Jails. But when uh, the people in the film uh, industry, uh, like you said, they used, I wish I could mimic so well as you do. I can just do a couple of things. Hi! The left side and the left side. Take it to the left. Um, See? <laughs> even this camera has got a Gungat mark. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good boy. So, when I was singing at the Oberoi Intercontinental, Dave Saab, the entire Narkitan unit, and everybody was over there. Shashi Kapoor, Raji, and everybody. And uh, after the show was over, he came up and asked me whether I would be happy to sing in his project, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna. And really that's how it happened. And I was so, so happy to do that. You want me to take up the mask? She's standing behind and doing this. I thought she's praying to me. <laughs> you really want to, why? See how well I can sing with the mask. I think we're, we're, we're totally distant, uh, like quite well, so you can, I think, take up the mask. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure. Social distancing will be everything. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, husband ke saath bhoot social distancing hai. <laughs> okay. So this is how it happened for me and uh, really I didn't start off uh, singing as a, as a night, I mean as a playback singer. I got the playback singing because people started listening to me live and that's how it all happened for me. And uh, one by one I got the songs and I always told all the music directors and the people filmmakers, give me one good song, I'm not asking you to give me 10 songs every day, like all the big uh, Lata Ji Mangeshkar and Asha Bhusle and all used to get, but I, I told them, give me one song, because one song will give me about 375 shows, and I'm happy with that. Actually, I'm still uh, carrying on with those songs, and without realizing, dekhte dekhte 40 saal ho gaye hai, to songs like I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Because I can't sing like uh, Jagjit Singh Ji or like uh, uh, Rashid Khan Saab. How can I sing like that? Or like, oh, Hari Haran. 
You know, I mean, every song he sings so beautifully, it's just from pride sometimes listening to it. He's so brilliant. He's so brilliant. Well, why would I want to do something like that? Why? Because I could never do it in another million genres. Unke jaise to koi gaani nahi sakta. Whether it's Shankar Mahadevan or anybody. But hey, this moment is unique only to you and me. Right? And nobody can do it better. So before we move on to the disco era, can, can we hear the Sean song? Sean song. Let, let, me, let, let me request uh, in, uh, Mr. Bhattan's style on you. Okay. Oh God. Who's on the radio, man? My God. What can I do if I were Sean's or if I were a lotion? What can I do if I were a lotion? Oh, you're super nice. So go for the lead. This is so fantastic. What's your birth sign? Virgo. Virgo? I don't believe it. When in September? 8 September. I'm in number 8, but I'm Scorpio. I'm so anybody who wants to send me a mail or just some flowers or something like that, or just a phone call, I'm 8 of November. Okay, Scorpio. Before that, it's 8 September. Let's, yeah. let's. Uh, we are supposed to be singing a song in the song, some songs in the evening. Uh, is it the same crowd that's coming? This song is same, this is not coming. Ready, Samarish? Samarish? I have to find out whether he can play the track for me because. Uh, I've got it all ready for the evening, but uh, yeah, if you want me to sing it now, for Kula Gala as they say. Yeah, we, we, we can just have the uh, unplugged version. Can you play that for me now? You, you classics? We, we just play the unplugged two, two, two lines. The two, two lines I can't sing. <laughs> two, two lines. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'd love to sing Sean. Actually, you know what? The uh, my whole lifeline is doing everything I do, Shansi. Otherwise, don't do it at all. And I think it's so important, like the five hour drive that I had from the airport. <laughs> Shansi, Kiyamarika. And I must say thank you to our chauffeur, Murugesh. I mean, he's such a fantastic man because I told him, I'm a good job. Any of you understand Tamil? Okay, fine. So I said to him, could you please kind of cut like a woman? He said, ah, oh, definitely, put on. And he got me the most fantastic cut like a boil. So we had that half the way. Then the other half of the way, I had some banana chips, which had come from Kerala. Simply wonderful. <laughs> so we, somehow or the other, the five hours just passed by, and it was really chance, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, here's what happened to you. She can't believe it. She can't believe it. Yeah, okay. If you if you uh, if you laugh anymore, I'll make it ten hours. <laughs> yeah, but it was really amazing. Uh, also, is there any other question you want to ask me? I have many questions. I, I've got uh, well, rapid fire ones coming over. Oh, go rapid, rapid boy. Are we going to sing the song first? Oh, we have to wait now. You didn't. This was a surprise, so we have to wait till that comes. Okay. Oh, just a just a little while ago, I think you had uh, uh, somebody over here, Shashi Tharoor, right? Yeah. Oh, we all love him. Yeah, he's absolutely fantastic. I love, I love his uh, words as well, which he which he quotes to us. I love uh, his words, uh, and I wish he was here tonight because uh, I mean, even for my show. But all these big people, they do their thing and they run away. They don't stay for my show. And uh, in Calcutta, you know, when you do a para show, they always give me the stage last. And when I say, Kano wa tu de kano, they tell me, Didi aapke to box. In the beginning, I never knew what box meant. I thought he was talking about my figure. <laughs> then I realized what he was trying to say is your box office. Okay, so then if I have to sing last, if I have to talk last, all the people before me, they don't have the time. So nobody listens to me except when they want to see my stage performance. And so that's wonderful today. There was a time when, you know, uh, people used to say, 
in the Hindi film industry. अगर उषा उत्तर को लेते हैं तो फिल्म फॉर फ्लॉप होने वाला है। That was really strange because all the good girls got all the pure voices and all the bad girls got my voice. And some of them were so bad they were men. I even signed for Mithun Chakravarti to do it. And uh, I feel so thrilled about it because, uh, you know, it, it makes for a good change, isn't it? And I think only uh, Bhakuna could do that. When you sing for Mithunda. No, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But when Bhakuna, uh, oh sorry, I don't have any gold because I gave all the gold to him. <laughs> because he gave me so many hit songs. Yeah. But I could never sing a duet except with uh, S.P. Balasubramanian sir. <laughs> always difficult because it's so strange. <laughs> All the duets that I sang uh, with Bapida, Bapida sounded like the lady and I sound like the man. <laughs> so <laughs> it was really strange. You know, uh, I'm one of the first artists and the only artist who actually owned a microphone. And I own that microphone because of your questions. Uh, I was the highest paid singer in 1969 and I got 1,500 rupees. Not for one show, but for a whole month of singing. So clap nicely for that. Today, today we talk only of lacks and lacks and lacks and crores. There are singers who even ask for crores and good luck to them, yeah? But I have only three things to tell you which my father told me, my uncle told me. Never compare yourself with anybody else. Never. Because if you do that, you can really be frustrated. I remember when I, when I was getting two lakh rupees or something like that, and uh, Adnan Sami came up onto, onto the scene, and Lucky Ali came, and suddenly everybody was paying 13 lakhs and 15 lakhs, and I was happy, I was happy with whatever I was getting, and happy for them as well. But ladies and gentlemen, you know, if you ask yourself these three questions, who am I, where did I come from, and where am I going? And I realized, I'm Usha, I was getting, where did I come from, 1,500 rupees. What am I getting now? And where am I headed? Same place as everybody else. So let's just be happy with whatever we get. <laughs> and just be, just be content. That's most important. See, I, I also wanted to ask you a very, very important question, and that is, uh, 50 years you've been singing. It's been 50 years. How do you keep yourself relevant? 50 years have been. Then you have to reinvent yourself. You have to come up with uh, new things, new ideas. Uh, you are saying that right now you will not do more playback singing because you're okay with the stage singing. Is that so? No, no, no. I'm ready. Anybody who wants to give me a song to sing, I'm happy to sing. In any film, any filmmaker, anybody who wants me to sing in any language. By the way, I sing in 17 Indian languages. But the track, it's difficult for me to ask all of you to keep singing because if the track goes somewhere else, then it's bad news. And I'll get written badly. So, uh, so I'd like for all of you to please write in the beginning, know that I can't do anything on my own. I need, need all of you to sing with me and of course clap with me, okay? And uh, let's go.
For best entertainment, subscribe to Red FM Bengaluru page. For more updates, press the bell icon.